Hey there, Toons! Professor Pete here with another video. When we last left Domino, he was on the third floor of a four-story building in the Help and Uber Day event that Toon Town Hall holds every Saturday. And remember, like I said in the last video, in this video, two Toons will abandon us in different ways. Let's get to the building. <clears throat> on to the third floor of this building, where two bloodsuckers. Hmm. This should be easy. Maybe. So, Domino uses a cream pie slice on the cog on the right. Duke pulls out a birthday cake, doesn't aim it at a cog. Yellow Mouse gets a cream pie slice, aims it at the cog on the right. And Duke pulls out a big magnet. I mean, Doopy pulls out a big magnet, but takes it back and passes. And Duke throws out marbles on the cog on the left. The throw is hit. But the damage is not enough, and the yellow mouse gets hit by the first cog, and the second cog gets ready for an attack, and the yellow mouse gets hit and goes sad. Domino replies, "No!" So Domino is using a cream pie slice on the cog on the right. Duke is pulling out a birthday cake. Once again, not sure what to aim at. Oh, he aims at the cog on the right. And, and Doopy pulls out a big magnet. The trap is set off on the cog on the left. And the cog does not go down. But the cog on the right does. They had... Domino used the cream pie slice on the other cog, nobody would have gotten hurt. But as it is, Doopy gets hit with we don't know how much damage. Uh oh, another cog. We'd better hurry if we don't want to face two of them instead of one. Doopy hurries, Domino hurries, and everybody else hurries. Everybody uses the cream pie except for Domino who uses the cream pie slice to take out the cog. So, here's what happens now. Domino is using a cream pie slice. Doopy is using a fruit pie slice. And Duke is using a birthday cake. And the cog goes down. Note that we were not able to tape the fourth floor. But, we will go ahead and tell you that Doopy left us because of some sort of glitch by teleporting while we were in the elevator. And Duke was able to kill the cogs thanks to something I like to call opera. Yep, that's why you should never attend an opera, Tunes. Unless you're using that gag. Speaking of which, Duke gets a new one. Domino replies, congrats. Wait, does he? Yes, he does. So, on to the next building. You can see that the yellow mouse tuned up, and Duke replies, I failed you. So, Domino is using a cream pie slice, as is the yellow mouse, but Duke using a cream pie. And the cog dies. The tune celebrate with a victory dance. Now on to the second floor. <clears throat> One cog on this floor. Well, I wouldn't count on it, though. The yellow mouse uses a cream pie slice as does Domino and Duke passes. The throw is hit. And the damage is enough, despite the fact that Duke did not do anything to help take down this cog. <laughs> Two more cogs? Uh-oh. This is going to be tough. We all know we're going to have to fight both of them. So, Domino uses a 
cream pie slice on the cog on the right, as does the yellow mouse, and Duke uses a seltzer bottle on the cog on the left. The throw is hit, and the cog goes down. Duke hits the cog with the seltzer bottle, but it's not enough. And Duke's punishment is four damage. <clears throat> so, Domino uses a fruit pie slice. Using a cream pie slice is the yellow mouse. Duke calls out his doodle. Can't get anybody tuned up. Let's see if the gags will hit. They do hit, and they're able to kill the cog. <laughs> Tune celebrate one another victory dance. Now on to the third floor of this three-story building. Three cogs? Whoa. This is hard. So... Domino uses a fruit pie on the cog in the middle, as does the mouse on the cog on the left. Duke pulls out a foghorn to kill two of the cogs, so thank God Domino used the fruit pie on the right, I mean the middle. Wait. Yellow Mouse also used it in the middle. I can't really see well. Oh well. Two more cogs? He has five cogs on this floor. Probably the most cogs I've ever faced on a third floor. So Domino uses a fruit pie to get rid of the cog on the left. The Yellow Mouse uses one on the right. Go ahead, Duke. Pick a gag. He picks an elephant trunk, which is pretty much a good move. Both of the throws hit, and the cogs die. Five up, five down, and the third floor is done, and a victory dance is celebrating the win over the cogs. <clears throat> well, I just realized something. Without Doopy's lure, Duke won't have anybody to help train his trap gags. Oh, well, that's your loss, Duke. No offense. No. Eh? Hang the Maple Street? Um, you must be sadly mistaken. We are headed to another building. This one being a four-story. The last time we faced a four-story building, Domino went sad. I mean, not Domino, the yellow mouse. So, now, on the cog, uh, everyone uses throw. Going down is the cog, and a second cog. Could be tougher. We might even have four on the next floor, but you never know. Maybe there'll only be one. But then again, like I said before, I wouldn't count on it. Alright. Yellow Mouse uses a cream pie slice, as does Domino. With Duke using a cream pie. And the cog goes down. And the tunes celebrate with another victory dance. However, sometime in these next few videos, Doopy will be replaced. They'll finally find a replacement for Doopy so that they'll have the full four tunes in order to take down a cog building. That's it for this video, guys. See you next time.